There's a lot of commentary at the moment that average Australians will not and should not have access to a financial planner. And that makes me angry. You know, there was a report recently that one of the big, um, one of the, the heads of one of these big financial planning firms that people on an average income, uh, say 80 grand a year, should not and will not have access to a financial advisor into the future. And th that's just wrong. That's just absolutely wrong. 80 grand a year for a start, that's what teachers and nurses, that's what they're earning. To say that they don't need advice, personal advice, what? Like, that makes no sense whatsoever. Like what? Do teachers and nurses not struggle with their finances? Do teachers and nurses can read a book or listen to a podcast and be just like, oh right, fantastic. I've got my finances completely sorted out. No, like you look at any social media groups or just talk to these groups and you realize, no, hang on. This is, this is the exact group that needs personalized financial advice. They need someone to cut through all the noise and tell them step by step what they should be doing. It's not something that's in our education system, how to uh, master your money and how to budget and how to build wealth. It's those ones that if things go wrong, whether it be an injury, workplace injury, nurses back, teachers getting stressed, whatever it might be, they're the ones that don't have adequate plan Bs in place, which makes things even worse. As you can probably uh, hear from my voice, I'm really, I'm both angry about that people are just writing off this complete segment, hardworking Australians saying they don't need access to financial advice, you know? Let's just make financial advice just for the rich people. The rich people, let's, you know, make that top 1%, make them even richer. I mean, how wrong is that? That's just, just so, so wrong. But, you know, that's why you know, I'm so passionate about, you know, making sure that our teachers and nurses, that they've got access to financial advice, that they can access a, a single person that can cut through all that noise and just take the stress away from money. And that teachers and nurses, they've got the opportunity to build wealth for themselves, build wealth for their families, and build wealth for the community around them.